Okay, so we've been using the word mutation a lot. Let's go ahead and define it now. A mutation is a random chain to a gene that sometimes results in a new trait. I just want to emphasize this word. Sometimes results in a new trait. Sometimes. And with this picture that you're looking at here, this is a diagram of something called a chromosome, which is basically a big piece of DNA that contains many genes. The gene that's labeled in red is one noting a mutation that may lead to a new trait, maybe. And we're gonna do an activity really working more with this idea of mutations by predicting changes in australope populations. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna consider what can happen to a population of australopes that are capable of mutations whose environment is changing to be cold. Before we start though, let's consider two different situations. This first one here is population A. Let's say population A is put into a cold environment, but they're not able to mutate. Do you think that they would survive? Go ahead, pause, write, and discuss on that. I look at this histogram thinking about a change to a cold environment and no mutations, so no new traits can happen. I can know a few things. I know that traits number, oh, here we go one sec. Ah. Okay, I know that traits number 8, 9, and 10 would not appear because there's no mutations. That's terrible because those are the traits that would most likely help in a cold environment. And traits 1, 2, and 3, I would predict that those ones would die because they don't have enough fur to survive. However, we do have these middle ground traits between 4, 5, 6, and 7 that, well, there's at least a possibility that maybe this population A could survive if its environment turned cold and they couldn't mutate. Okay, similar idea now. Let's look at this population B. They're also now in a cold environment and they can't mutate. Do you expect that they would survive? So let's go ahead and walk through with the same thinking. The environment's becoming cold, and this population can't mutate. If there's no mutations, no new traits will happen. So I know that these traits, ah, I know that the traits that are going between right here with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, those won't appear if there's no mutation, so they're not even a possibility. And if it got cold, well, Trait level one and two, like I said before, is almost hairless. I would expect these to not even survive. So population B with no mutations, and it gets cold, that's going to equal not so happy dying time. But now we're going to actually think about mutations. Population B would be dead if it couldn't mutate in a new environment that was cold, but what if it could mutate? Go ahead, write, pause. Do you think this population would survive? Okay, if you have access to Amplify, please go to Lesson 3.1, Introduction to Mutations, page four, and try out these missions if you can. So I'm gonna simulate what would happen to that population B if their environment was set to cold and they had mutations on. So they started out in a fairly warm environment, gonna set it to cold though, and I'm gonna enable mutations, press run, and let's zoom in to see what happens. So as we're starting out, we have these traits one and two that are shivering, they're finding mates, but oh no, that little guy died. All right, well this one, he's looking around for food, he's got some fur, oh, he's shivering now too. Well, let's put this a little on fast forward. This has only been a couple of generations, but oh, oh, did you see that little red dot? Mutation happened, that's our little note. So they're still shivering, but oh, that one mutated and died. Well, it's not going too well for them, but as we're watching, they're not totally dying out. And I just found a trait three, just found a trait number three. That's a little different from before. So, Going to stop here for a moment, fast forward in time, and we're going to take a look at what happens after 70 generations of this.
This is an example histogram of what could happen to population B if they were set to a cold environment and they had mutations enabled. So pause real quick, write and discuss. What fur trait was most common after 70 generations? And was that trait present in generation one? So the trait that became the most common after 70 generations, it's gonna be this trait number nine right here. And if we'd remember how these histograms are written for us, anything that's present in the final generation we recorded, like generation 70, that would be in a blue bar. And anything that existed in the starting population, well, that would be in a hash mark bar. Trait level nine was not present in the original population. Now this one's just for you. So this population died out when there were no mutations. How did having mutations allow the population to survive the environmental change to cold? Go ahead and pause and think that through. <laughs> 